Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I would like to join you in welcoming our carnival queen and various monarchs who are with us today. But I also want to take a very special moment to big up our Sufre King. Six times. Sufre King. Sufre King. All right. I also want to take this moment to express condolences to the family, to the Duvay family on the passing of the late Ira Duvay and express condolences to Mr. Cassia Elias on the passing of his wife and also to say add my words of welcome to the law students of the University of Birmingham. Um, Mr. Speaker, this morning I'm going to make a statement concerning the micro loan grant facility, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wish to thank you and the Honorable Prime Minister and my fellow cabinet colleagues for the opportunity to present to the people of St. Lucia and in particular the business community and its patrons on the MSME loan grant facility, which is beheaded by my ministry, the Ministry of Commerce, Manufacturing, Business Development, Cooperatives and Consumer Affairs. Mr. Speaker, the MSME loan facility, which was launched on March 16th this year, has resulted in a buzz of activities at the Ministry of Commerce. Entrepreneurs have demonstrated significant interest in the program since the inaugural MSME loan grant check award ceremony on April 24, 2023, where we distributed check payments to the first six beneficiaries under the program. This, Mr. Speaker, was the spark that ignited the flame. Mr. Speaker, through you, may I speak for a moment to the business community. Businessmen and women of St. Lucia, this government understands the hardship from COVID-19. We were aware of difficulties that you faced in, a, in accessing finance from our local financial institutions. The lending agencies criteria for borrowing are, are onerous and it is difficult for our early stage businesses, our startups and aspiring entrepreneurs to access funds. To our women-owned entrepreneurs who are determined to find new avenues to provide for their family, this government understands your plea and had you in mind when we crafted this facility. We kept our promise of putting you first. Mr. Speaker, I am encouraged by the response of our entrepreneurs to this facility. Male and female entrepreneurs, young and not so young, pre-ventures and established business owners, all have come forward to take advantage of the benefits to be derived under the facility. Mr. Speaker, during the first cohort which opened on March 20th and ended on May 31st, the ministry estimated that 180 appl applications would be received, which is equivalent to about 40% of the total target of 450 applications. However, at the closing date of May 31st this year, <coughs> 501 applications were received. In particular, Mr. Speaker, on the last day, on May 31st, the ministry received 236 applications in one day. Mr. Speaker, 
with respect to the age of the applicants who have applied to this facility 206 applicants are within the age range of 31 years to 40 years 187 applicants within the age range of 41 to 50 years and 108 applicants were within the age range of 51 years to 60 years additionally the ministry received applications from 247 males and 254 females yes mr speaker just over half of the applicants are female this is encouraging in light of the project's output, and that is increasing participation and equitable access to project benefits for male and female-owned MSMEs, and enhance gender-responsive uptakes of such a facility. End of quote. Mr. Speaker, the majority of the enterprises which submitted applications 71% to be exact, were established enterprises. They were more than two years in operation, followed by startups, which was less than two years in operation. We had 18% of the applicants. And for pre-ventures, which are operations that have not commenced, we had 11% of the applicants. It is worth noting that 355 established enterprises have applied for assistance under the facility, which is above the target of 120 that we established at the beginning. Mr. Speaker, I want to remind our preventures in particular that this is an opportunity to convert ideas into businesses. Mr. Speaker, our business community forums have borne fruit. To date, the Ministry of Commerce has held eight business fora in various constituencies across the country. And I'm pleased to report that the entrepreneurs have acted. And under the first call, we have received applications from all 17 constituencies, Mr. Speaker. The entrepreneurs from Grosile are leading and have submitted 96 applications, Mr. Speaker. This is followed by Soufre with 59 applications, Mr. Mm. Speaker. Mm. We have Castries North with 38, mm. Babono with 33, mm -hmm. Castries Southeast with 33, Castries South with 32, mm. Viewfort North with 25, mm -hmm. Denry North with 18. <coughs> Ancillary countries with 27, um, Viewfort South with 16, Library 16, Schwazel with 26. So I am pleased. Central is the Central Business District. I am pleased, Mr. Speaker, that our entrepreneurs and my, have responded from all parts of the country. Very well. Mr. Speaker, I wish to remind our entrepreneurs that the priority areas identified under this facility are manufacturing, agriculture, agro-processing, agro-tourism, and professional services. These areas were identified as priority sectors for support in recognition of their potential contribution to economic and social development. It is important to highlight that out of the 501 applications received, 370 
were from businesses within these priority areas. Notably, Mr. Speaker, the Ministry for Agriculture and my colleague from Denry South. South would be happy to know that we have received applications from 56 farmers and 41 agro-processors. This accounts for 19% of the applications received. And some of the sectors there, agriculture, 56, agro-processing, 41, beauty and wellness, 52, creative industries, 49, Whoa. manufacturing, 71, professional services, 80, restaurants, 26, and we have a mix of 105, which is miscellaneous. Mr. Speaker, the level of unemployment in this country has always been of concern to my government. Given the high level of unemployment of 16.5% at the end of December 2022, <clears throat> it is encouraging to note that 25 of the applicants were from unemployed individuals. Mr. Speaker, this is 25 additional jobs, 25 mustard seeds, which over time has the potential to grow into giant trees. <clears throat> this is also very encouraging, as my government understands the importance of employment as an economic driver for this country. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the entrepreneurs for their responses thus far. I also want to say a special thank you to the members of the Evaluation Committee, which is chaired by Ms. Yvonne Egard, for their commitment in reviewing these applications. The Evaluation Committee has reviewed so far 150 applications and is working assiduously to review all these applications within the next three months. I take this opportunity to solicit the patience of applicants as we process these applications. Mr. Speaker, the St. Lucia Development Bank has disbursed over half a million dollars under this facility to our entrepreneurs. This is half a million dollars circulating and multiplying within our economy, yeah. which will translate to lower unemployment, greater output, higher exports, earning of foreign exchange, and economic growth. To the team at the St. Lucia Development Bank, we thank you for being a good partner. You have demonstrated the true essence of partnership. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge my team at the Ministry of Commerce, headed by the Permanent Secretary, the former Director of SEDU, Mrs. Charles, and the Acting Director, Ms. Rosemary Pierre-Louis, the staff of SEDU, the staff of Commerce and Industry, and the rest of Team Commerce. It has truly been a team effort and today I really want us to show our appreciation to Team Commerce. Mr. Speaker, let me reiterate the fact that this government has borrowed the funds from the Caribbean Development Bank for unlending to our MSMEs. I want to say here that this is not free money and as a ministry, we will monitor the beneficiaries as we go forward. Our business development officers from the Ministry of Commerce have been assigned to each recipient of funds under this facility and have already commenced the site visits 
to offer guidance and ensure the funds are used for the purpose stated in the applications. Rest assured, no effort will be spared to recover any monies disbursed if these funds are not used for the stated purpose in the application. The region is watching us. Let us not disappoint ourselves and our country. I wish to encourage all recipients to use the funds to enhance their businesses. Mr. Speaker, to lend further support to our small businesses and maximize the use of funds under the loan grant facility, my government has approved on behalf of the MSME loan grant awardees 100% waiver of custom duty on imports including fixtures and fittings approved under the facility from April 1st, 2003 to March 31st, 2024. 24, sorry. April 1st, 2023 to March 31st, 2024. In keeping with my government's desire to promote sustainable business practices, MSME grown loan grants awardees will also be granted 100% duty exemption on imports of renewable energy and energy efficient equipment, devices and fittings. St. Lucia, this is your government, the yeah. government of the St. Lucia Labour Party. Keeping its promise of putting you first. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, let me take this opportunity to appeal to our entrepreneurs to go the extra mile, to use this assistance to create wealth, to pivot your businesses to the new level. For the discipline you exercise today, will be the bridge between your goal and accomplishment. Mr. Speaker, with your permission, I will just present two or three sentences in Creole on this statement that I have. C'est ici, bonjour. Je dis à moi qu'à présenter un rapport à ce MSME loan programme là, gouvernement Janier, et que moi je voulais dire, pour à présent là, nous j'ajoutons 500 epion application um, from different places of Pia. Nous tenons aux îles, tu es le premier et que tu es application tu y vas. Tu fouilles, tu es le deuxième presque 60. Et puis, mais ça me voulait dire toute place en cette liste. En cela, oui, Babono, Casuis Central, Casuis East. Casuis North, Casuis South, Casuis South East, Soisei, Denry North, Denry South, Gozile, Laboui, Miku North, Miku South, Soufouye, Viefo North, Viefo South. Tout le monde a différents places à payer. Mon choix a été et puis il y a demandé pour assistant à ce programme. Ça, le gouvernement, j'ai fait aussi, nous, nous l'année en comité, qui a aidé nous pour uh, évaluer ces applications, ça là. Et que moi, je voulais demander tout le monde qui a fait des applications, ça là, pour nous un petit de patience avec nous, pour nous commencer le travail. Ça, moi, je voulais dire, le gouvernement, uh, um, aussi, pour faire l'argent, on va aller un petit mètre plus loin. Gouvernement, j'ai d'accord pour tirer ça au cas que custom duty et puis imports à sous ces équipements, ces mounins qui order à sous ça. So aujourd'hui, à moi, vous l'avez dit, nous comptons, nous j'ai joué 500 yon application. Ministre, commerce, qui travaille pour plus vite que possible pour garder qui mène nous à faire décision à sous tout ça. Et moi, vous l'avez oui, merci. Bank um, SLDBT qui travaille avec nous à ce projet. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.